Uh, another area that we're paying very close attention to, the Attics Reservoir. People living near the Attics Reservoir on heightened alert tonight after officials announced a release. Joel Eisenbaum near Highway 6 and West Road with the very latest on those preparations. I want to tell you something real quickly about Highway 6. I think Highway 6, it's already in trouble because it's blocked south of Clay all the way to I-10. So you know you can't go that way because you've got Attics Reservoir in the state that it's in and all the people that live in that area. But I think there's gonna be a problem and maybe Frank can talk about this or the weather team can talk about this because there are two creeks, which I think are rising quickly by the eye. I'm not a scientist or a hydrologist, but we were worried about them. That is Horse Bend Creek and Langham Creek. That's as you go from 290 down Highway 6 toward I-10. It seems to me that if Langham Creek goes over Highway 6, you are going to have tens of thousands of people stuck in that little area. People who may have to get out because of Attic's Reservoir being like it is. So I think that's something we should be talking about. I think that's an issue. That's if Langham Creek comes over Highway 6, those folks will be pinned in between two flooded out areas. And you can't go, I don't think you can go eastbound because you've got Bear Creek there and you can't go down Clay Road and westbound is dicey too. I think it's just something to keep in mind. Let's send it back to you.